Forward assault on a computer, guys. This game runs so well on PC or Mac. You can get so many amazing kills and do so many things you wouldn't be able to do on mobile devices. Oh my god, it works so well. These enemies, they don't stand a chance. Hey everyone, my name is Exotic Gaming and welcome back to the second video on Forward Assault today. This is perhaps the more useful of the two. Just earlier, I posted the using all weapons video that I thought turned out great, but I recorded that on my Android. Man, I wish I knew about this sooner. Today, I'm going to be explaining how to get forward assaults on your computer, PC or Mac. It'll be epic, and I hope it helps you guys. I'd appreciate it a lot if you left a like down below, if this tutorial helps, and subscribe for more forward assault content. Without further ado, let's jump into this. Now, you are going to be using an Android style program in order to actually run forward assaults. If you are on a PC, you are going to type in Mimu on Google. And if you are on Mac, you are going to type in Nox App Player. You are going to download either one of these programs. The good thing about Nox is it actually runs on both PC or Mac, but Mimu is specific for PC as of right now. So you're gonna click the first link that appears. You're gonna click download. For Nox App Player, you're going to click this link right here, BigNox.com. If you are on Mac, it probably will automatically detect and you just click download. If not, you're going to click the Mac version right here. Since I am doing this on my Windows computer, I'm obviously going to click download. If you're on Mac, there's going to be the same setup instructions. So we're going to let these two things download and we're going to start off by opening up Mimu and then Nox and I'll explain how to properly get forward assaults on both of these programs. Now I just want to say before we actually install these programs, neither of these come with any viruses. I have an antivirus software as you can see right here and it doesn't pick up anything. So you don't have to worry about that when you're installing both of these programs. If your antivirus software does pick up something, then it's mistaken. So we're going to click yes, we're going to install this. We can exit out of the browser as of right now. I'm gonna reinstall it just because I want to show you from scratch exactly what you want to do. Once it finishes installing, you're going to click the launch button because obviously you want to open up Mimu for the first time and finally get yourself forward assault. We can full screen by using this little square button up here up at the top right and we can make Mimu full screen. This is after it finally finishes loading up. As you can see, it's almost at 80%. Might take a little bit longer depending on the speed of your computer and this will also influence whether or not you should use Mimu or Nox App Player. Even if you're on a PC and you have a really, really slow computer, you still might want to get Nox App Player because it runs a little bit better on slower computers. If you have a very high speed and good performance computer, then you're going to want to download Mimu. So we can actually full screen this now here. We can just scroll through this real quick. And then once we're finished, we can exit out of this right here. And now we're going to be on the main screen of our Android emulator. As you can see, it's going to install a couple of other just add download things. I guess this is the way Mimu can get some of its money, but we can uninstall these right now. You don't need any of these. I'm assuming you're probably only going to be using this for Forward Assault, so obviously you're not going to need any of these other programs. You can actually use this tutorial for any other game right now, so that's pretty cool. We're going to exit out of this right here. But as you can see, we're not technically signed into the Play Store as of right now. You're going to need to do that. What I would recommend doing is creating a new Google account. You can use the one that you already have. There could always be issues with Google and accounts using emulators in the future. So this is why I would recommend creating a new one. So we're going to do that right now. It's a very simple process. You can create it for your child if you want, but obviously you would create it for you. So. I'm going to create my name. I'm going to say John John. There's our name. First name John, last name John. Next. And then this is obviously very important. Just like everything else with Google, you obviously need to sign up with a phone number, a real phone number. So we're going to do that right now. After we type in that verification code, your birthday doesn't really matter. We can put January 1st, 1990 if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you can put whatever gender you want, doesn't really matter. And then your username, I'm going to put John John FWD for forward assault at gmail.com. 
and then we're gonna do uh, I don't know a password I'm gonna just skip right through this process and show you exactly what you need to do next so eventually you're gonna agree to the privacy and terms you're going to click next it's going to check your info and finally you're going to have your Google account created so that's great but you might still have some errors occurring when you finally end up doing this Sometimes, for some reason, it'll automatically log you out of your Google account, and then sometimes you might get a black screen like this. So you might have to do that, and then when you open up the Play Store again, you might have to sign in. If not, you might be on this screen, and then you're actually in the Play Store. So we're going to type in forward assault. As you can see, authentication is required. This is the most common error you're going to get with the Play Store, and this is both for Mimu or Nox App Player. What you can do as an alternative to this issue is you can open up your browser and download something known as Aptoid. Type that in, click the first link that appears. This is a weird Chinese search engine for some odd reason, but we're going to install Aptoid and it's an alternative to the Google Play Store. Again, click from the top and drag down, see how much is installed. You can exit right out of this right now if you want to download is complete you're going to click next next and install and install aptoid right onto your emulator once it's finished you can open it up you can click next next and skip then you can type in forward assault as you will see this is forward assault right here click on that click the install button and then click OK. Pretty cool stuff, I gotta tell ya. Now here's the best thing about running an emulator like this. It's almost like as if you have your computer inside of a computer. If there's any issues that arise using this emulator, then you're just basically using this on a separate computer and then your regular computer will be fine. All you gotta do is if there's any problems that ever arise at any point in time, you literally minimize it and then you're back on your normal computer. But no problems will arise, because I've not had any arise with any of the games that I've played on my computer using Mimu. Mimu is a great program, and it works very, very well for games all the way from Bullet Force to Forward Assault to Critical Ops to even PUBG Mobile. And it is 100% downloaded. In just a second, we'll be able to open up Forward Assault on our computer. So we're going to click the open button right here, and Forward Assault is now loading up on our computer. This is absolutely epic, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you're going to want to do in terms of controls with this game. So we're loading up the game. Obviously, it's going to be a new game, so you're going to have to follow the brief tutorial. Now, what you're gonna do now is just click and drag. Just try to get rid of this whole tutorial here. Shoot, click the firing button. Just get rid of the tutorial. Basic tutorial completes. Now there's the menu. You can type in your username. I'd say exotic on PC. You guys might want to friend me if you guys want to. Click submit. And now what I would actually recommend doing is having zero bots on easy, just on motel. So that way you can actually test this out with specific settings without the worry of a bot actually killing you. So just uh, exit out of this right here. And now as you can see, there are no key bindings. You're not going to be able to play. Obviously, if you want to play on your computer, you want to use WASD, space to jump, and stuff like that. So, you click this little keyboard button up at the top right, and then add this right here. You can actually click that and get more options for buttons. You're going to drag this to the direction control area. You can make it a little bit bigger if you want to. I definitely think that helps. Put this at about right here. Maybe a little bit smaller. If you can get it right. Exit out of this right here. And that's probably good like that. Then this little button right here basically gives you options to basically choose whatever key you want. So for jump, you click on the center and I would put space. That just works well for me for a jump button. And then for here for crouch, I would use control. That works well for me in most games that I play. Then for your list of players that are living and dead, I'd probably say tab is going to be your best option. Then for your chats, I'd say T is probably your best option. And then for the pause button, I'd probably say escape is your best option there. That way you can click escape and then exit out of the map completely. Then for reloading, 
I would definitely choose R, that's just me, but then again, you can always choose this customizable based off of your key bindings. I'm just trying to show you exactly what I would use if I was doing this myself. This button right here will be dragged to the shooting area. Very nice. Now you can actually use left click to shoot your gun. And then this button right here will be dragged to the crosshair. As you can see right here, it automatically is dragged there when you drag this one. So now you actually have something to work with. We can click the save button up at the top right. Very important to do that. Also, what you can do is adjust the transparency. I wouldn't do that immediately just because you probably still want to actually get used to the controls. So at this point in time, I'm not able to move. My mouse is still here. What I would do is right click and now I can use my mouse to move my character. I can move, move the viewpoints and it works really, really well. The only thing that you really can't do well is change between your knife. I know that's a big component to forward assaults, but all you really need to do at that point is you would control crouch, you would right click again so you have your mouse and then click and drag to your knife, right click and then you can run with your knife. So it's not optimal, but it definitely works. And if I was to actually escape now and go back to the main menu and then practice once again with some bots here on easy i'm gonna obviously do this on easy because i'm certainly not a pro at this myself we can actually see how this would work so let's go see if we can find some bots here we can actually shoot at them the graphics aren't the best i just i think it's just because for some reason my computer was automatically set to that you can always change that if you want to but as you can see now you can play forward assaults on your computer and everything works a lot better like all the bots they don't even stand a chance reloading again is just the r button and everything works much much smoother than it did before potentially on your mobile device now i don't know maybe you play a mobile device with controllers or something like that and then in that case hey maybe it actually works better with that and the one thing I would actually recommend doing at the very end here is you probably saw the graphics weren't the absolute best. So you can go to your settings and then you can change it to high. That's just what I would do. It makes the game look a little bit nicer. And especially on a big screen like a computer, it's probably going to be a little bit better. And that's basically it here, guys. I hope this helped. If it did, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like down below. I'm going to switch over to the Nox tutorial. Again, as I said, if you are not using a great computer a great PC at all, then you're going to want to use Knox. And if you're using a Mac, then you're going to want to use Knox. So we're going to switch over to that now. So now we can move on to the Mac part of this tutorial or the part for Windows computers that don't run the best. So I'm going to go over to my downloads folder first and click on the Knox setup button. Again, as I said before, this will not come with any viruses, so you don't have to worry about that. You can exit out of your web browser as of right now, click install, and it will now install Knox onto your computer. Once it finishes installing, you can click start, whether you are on Mac or Windows, and it will start to load up the program for the very first time. Once you load it up, you'll be able to full screen. You can't do this as of right now, but once it gets to 100%, you can click this little button up at the top right of your screen, maximize it, and you will now have this full screen on your computer. You can click the right arrow, go next, 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 got it, and now you will be on the main screen of your Android emulator. Since you're probably only going to be using this for forward assaults, you can uninstall these other unnecessary programs. You can click and drag them over to the trash. Now, what you're gonna do first is open up the Play Store, but as you can see, you have to add a Google account. No worries here, it's just creating a Google account just like the one you use to create your YouTube accounts. If you've never created one before, it's very simple. That just updated it, but we're gonna create a new Google account. I'm going to create mine as, I don't know, John uh, Abraham, there we go, a Abraham. Abraham, doesn't really matter what your name is, just create yourself a random Google account, but just make sure you remember that email. So, John Abraham at gmail.com. Let's see if that's actually taken. It's not. Okay, it isn't available. All right. Next up, what you want to do is type in a password. I'm going to create mine and show you the next screen. 
Next up, doesn't really matter. I mean, if you want to make sure you keep your password, you can set up recovery options. I'm going to click not now. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to bother backing up my data. But if this is something you're going to use a lot for an extended period of time, you might want to do that. Click I accept. It's going to take just a second. Type in the verification. Go click next. It's going to contact Google to save your information. Don't set up a payment info unless you're planning on buying any sort of chests in forward assault any of those crates i'm not going to do that for myself i don't really care to do that but if you are somebody who wants to get a lot of different skins you can do that but for right now it doesn't really matter so we're going to click accept at this point in time you will most likely get an error where it's going to sign you out of the play store if you actually tried to download it's probably going to crash and i'll actually show you probably right now what's going to end up happening see as you can see you need to sign into your google account it's going to give you that error but i've actually found something that's a workaround what you can do is exit out of the play store go open up your browser once again and then we can type in aptoid a-p-t-o-i-d-e Click search, click the first link that appears, and then you're basically going to be installing an alternative to the Play Store. The nice thing about this is you don't have to worry about verifying your account. You don't even have to worry about using a phone number to verify that. It makes it a lot easier. And what you're going to want to do, just like an Android emulator or just like on Android devices normally, you're going to click that black bar at the top and drag down. It says download is complete. Click on that. Click next. As you can see here, a lot of these special requirements and privacy things don't really matter since you're on a computer you're basically doing this on an android emulator so it's nice you don't have to worry about anything any problems that may arise potentially when using this will only be on the emulator not on your computer so that's good and you don't have to worry about any problems because i've never had any for the longest time since I've been using these and I've been using both of these programs for over a year now for various different games. So, sorry about that, hit my microphone. What you're gonna do next is obviously click search and then type in forward assaults. It's going to show up here, click the first one that appears that has many, many downloads, click the install button and we are now installing forward assaults onto our Nox app player. It's not going to take too long. Obviously, this is all dependent on your hardline internet, or if you're doing this on a laptop, maybe depending on your Wi-Fi. The one good thing about this is you don't really need to worry about any storage space. I guarantee 100% everybody watching this video has many dozens of gigabytes on their computer. They have at least 64, probably 128. Most likely, people will have up into the terabyte range of storage space on their computer. Only 260 megabytes. The only people that might have a storage issue are people that are literally using a dial-up computer from like 1995. And in that case, you wouldn't be able to run this program anyways. So you don't have to worry about storage space, which is a huge benefit to playing this on your computer. You're going to click next and install, and it will install it onto your device. You're going to open up Forward Assault now, and you will finally have Forward Assault on your computer. Got the mouse there. Everything is good. And it's going to set things up, getting extra content, and it's about to load up the game. Now, this is the brief tutorial. What you want to do is just try to get through this as fast as you possibly can. Use your mouse for right now, but I'm going to explain how to use different key bindings for your advantage here on the computer version of this game. It's going to have you jump, it's going to have you crouch, it's going to have you look at your weapon and then swipe to your knife and then the basic tutorial is complete. So type in that username. I'm going to say exotic on Nox, that's just what I'm going to choose for here. And we're going to click Submit. And as you can see now, we are on the main menu of Nox App Players Forward Assault. But that's not it. Don't click away because you don't want to be using your mouse for literally everything. You don't want to use your mouse to drag your view, to shoot, to do everything. You want to be able to use WASD and you want to be able to use space and crouch and everything like that with different keys on your keyboard. So what I would recommend doing is going into practice with zero bots so you can do this peacefully without anybody else shooting you. Load up the match and this is what you should do. You can also change your graphical settings later on to make it look better, but for right now that doesn't really matter. So, you're going to click this little key button up at the top right where it says keyboard control. And as you can see, you have a different selection of buttons that you can click and drag onto your screen here. First off, this is the direction controller. You're going to want to put this right about right here, and it works pretty well in this area. By doing this, you'll be able to use WASD to move, just like with many other computer programs. This next button here that has an A on it will allow you to drag this over to 
other various areas of your screen that you may need to use different buttons for. So, for example, with jumping, I feel like space is probably your ultimate button for jumping. So, type the space bar and then space will appear. Click and drag another one for crouch. I would click the control button and now control is crouch. Keep clicking and dragging to different areas. Maybe for looking at the list of players, you would use tab. And then maybe for using the reload button, you would click R or to view your weapon. If you wanted to potentially pick up somebody else's gun that, that they dropped, you would click it right about right there. And then I would maybe put F in. That probably seems to be a pretty good button for that. Next up, you obviously don't want to use your mouse to click and drag your character and then shoot. There isn't a button for shoot, obviously you don't use your keyboard. In most games that you play, you use right click to aim and then shoot. So, what you're going to want to do is drag the button to the crosshair, or you drag this button to fire. You click and drag this little gun button right there, and then click and drag this to the crosshair. Very simple, adding these two buttons here will allow you to right click on the screen anywhere and then you can use your mouse to control your character. After this point in time, you've basically gotten some other stuff. For some reason, um, you can't really move this to the other side, so you're not going to be able to get a chat button or the escape button. That doesn't really matter too much. I mean, you can just click on this and then you can chat and who really chats that much anyways. So, what you're going to do at this point, obviously you can use WASD to run, right click on your screen and now you can use your mouse to move and then use your left click to shoot. Crouch, control, everything works very, very nicely. If you want to switch between your gun and your knife, that's the only thing that's really not able to be put into as a keyboard input. So what you would do is quickly right click, click and drag, and then right click again, and now you can use your knife. You're just gonna have to click and drag a lot of times using that with the right click so you can use your mouse. And I mean, it works, it definitely works. It's almost perfect for a uh, computer version of Forward Assault. So what we're gonna do now is click the space, or the uh, pause button I should say, go back to the main menu. We're gonna practice with some bots now, and I'm gonna show you guys what it kinda looks like when you're actually performing against some other people. Now these are all bots, of course, so obviously you're going to have to practice a little bit more with other players, because they're gonna be much better. And you're basically going to be going up against people that are using Android when you're using this. So obviously somebody who learned how to use the mobile version of the game for the longest period of time, they really know what they're doing. So you're gonna have to practice a lot with this before you actually become a decent player. So you would click and drag to your knife, run a little bit faster. I believe this button will pick up. Okay, so here's an example, right? That M4A1 button right there isn't in the proper area. So what you would do is right click and then adjust this to be right there. Click the save button once again, and then as you can see now, if I was to run over this button, press F, I can switch to my M4A1 nice and easily, and then I can respawn, clicking F once again. So it works really well, and I mean, there's really no negatives I could say about this. You definitely have to practice to get this to go perfectly, but with that being said, that's basically it, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. This was a lot of fun making, and I hope this helped you out. If it did, I'd appreciate it a lot if you left a like down below. Please leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel for more Forward Assault videos. I did a video literally yesterday, as I said earlier on. I used every single weapon as a challenge because I'm not a very good Forward Assault player, so I thought, what would be a challenge for a noob? Well, to try to get a kill with every single weapon in the game. Seems like that would be a pretty valid challenge, and... Uh, well, I did it successfully, so be sure to go check that video out. I'll link it down below in the description. And with that being said, that's it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.